let's talk about corresponding angles. Corresponding angles um, can be found in lots of different places, not just parallel lines cut by a transversal, but that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on um, these parallel lines here. I'm going to name this line um, J and line K. So these two parallel lines are cut by this transversal A. And when we do that, uh, it creates these eight angles. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I notice, these angles up here, one, two, three, and four, are identical to the angles here, five, six, seven, and eight. And it's they're, they're the same. Like I could pick up one, two, three, and four and put it on top of five, six, seven, and eight, and they would be the same angles. So two angles that are in the same position, just on different lines, are called corresponding. So which ones correspond? Corres let's see. Let's go see which ones correspond. Once I do one for you, you should figure it out. So angle one corresponds with angle five. See how they're in the same place, just a different line? It's almost like you could slide it down. So angle, uh, let's see, angle two corresponds with angle six. Angle four corresponds with angle eight. And then finally, angle three corresponds with angle seven. So corresponding angles have the same measure. They're the same size, which means they are equal. So we can just list a couple examples like angle three and angle seven, I wrote eight, I'm sorry, angle seven, are corresponding angles. So our angle one and angle five. But there are four sets of corresponding angles. One goes with five, and two goes with six, and three goes with seven, and four goes with eight. So they're in congruence. That means if I know the measure of angle seven, let's say, or let me do um, angle eight. Let's say I knew eight was, uh, I'm going to say, 68 degrees. If eight is 68 degrees, then so is angle four, 68 degrees, because they're congruent in measure. But I already know from before that six and eight are vertical angles. So if eight is 68 degrees, then six is also 68 degrees, because vertical angles are equal. So that means that um, this would be 68 degrees. And now I know that since 6 corresponds with 2, then 2 is also 68 degrees. So once I know um, that, I can find all of the angles that are, because they all kind of have a relationship with each other. So then from here, um, if you're on this worksheet, page 15, then you have some practice to do. Good luck. Thank you.